What are the different types of rocks and how are they formed? There are three main types of rocks, namely sedimentary, igneous and metamorphic rocks which are formed by physical changes like cooling, eroding, compacting or deforming which is a part of the rock cycle. Sedimentary rocks Sedimentary rocks are formed from pieces of other existing rock or organic material. The different types of sedimentary rocks are clastic, organic or biological and chemical rocks. The clastic sedimentary rocks like sandstone are formed from class or pieces of other rocks. Organic sedimentary rocks like coal are formed from hard biological materials like plants, shells and bones that are compressed into rock. The formation of clastic and organic rocks begin with the weathering or breaking down of the exposed rock into small fragments. These fragments are removed from the source through the process of erosion and are transported by wind, water, ice or biological activity to a new location. Once the sediment settles somewhere and enough gets collected, the lower layers become compacted tightly and they form solid rock. Chemical sedimentary rocks like limestone, halite and flint are formed when dissolved minerals are precipitated when the water evaporates. Metamorphic rocks Metamorphic rocks are rocks that have been changed from their original form by immense heat or pressure. Metamorphic rocks can be classified into foliated and non-foliated types. The foliated metamorphic rocks such as gneiss, phyllite, schist and slate have a layered or banded appearance that is produced by exposure to heat and directed pressure. Non-foliated metamorphic rocks such as hornfills, marble, quartzite and novaculite do not have a layered or a banded appearance. Igneous rocks Igneous rocks is derived from the Latin word for fire and is formed when molten hot material cools and solidifies. When igneous rocks are formed inside the earth, they are called intrusive or plutonic igneous rocks. Granite and diorite are common intrusive rocks which have a coarse texture with large mineral grains indicates that they have spent thousands or millions of years cooling down inside the earth which has allowed large mineral crystals to grow. If they are formed outside or on top of the earth's crust, they are called exclusive or volcanic igneous rocks. Some examples of extrusive igneous rocks are basalt and obsidian which have very small grains and a relatively fine texture. This happens because when magma erupts into lava, it cools more quickly than it would if it stayed inside the earth, giving crystals less time to form. Extrusive igneous rocks can also have a vascular or a holy texture like pumice. When the ejected magma still has gases inside of it, the gas bubbles get trapped and give the rock a bubbly texture.